Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at Dragons and Titans. And this is a free-to-play MOBA-style battle arena game set right in Facebook. So you're going to be able to log right into Facebook, you're going to play this, invite your friends. Of course, it's got tons and tons of social aspects and stuff along those lines. So let's get started and take a look at what the game has to offer. So the first thing I want to go through is all the basic features out here. Now, the simplicity of the game is you get in, you choose a dragon you want to use, and you, use a, you choose a weapon you want to use. Based upon the dragon, you're going to have a couple of different attacks. And then based upon the weapon, you're going to have a couple of different attacks. And those are going to, moder those are going to uh, establish your QWER. And so as you level up, you're going to level up those different attacks and things of that nature, just like most of the MOBAs out there. So as you can see, we've got featured items here. You can see I do have 4,055 of these gems, and you can see they've got different dragons that are available for these prices, different stuff you can see featured. Let's go ahead and take a look at the different dragons. As you can see, there's quite a few different dragons, and all of them are different in nature, so you're going to want to really take and dive in and see exactly what you want to have and what you want to use as far as your dragon is concerned before you maybe go and spend these uh, crystals that you get from doing the, the tutorial and the advanced tutorials. Now on the, you can take and click on each of these and it'll go through the skills that they have. You can see their animations, you can see their lore, you can also see their tips and then you've also got your basic attack, defense, support, their difficulty and their health. So you want to really be able to dive in and you're going to be able to really see how these work just like you do in a lot of their MOBAs and see how the champions work and stuff like that. Now when you go over to the weapons, you can see the same thing here and you've got a different price. And you can see you've got a crystal price and then you also have kind of the premium currency price as well. Now the nice thing that I've seen so far is pretty much the only thing that's not available for crystals and premium currency are these skins. So you can go um, and look at yours or you can also look at all the different skins that you can get for the different dragons and also the avatar. So really it kind of comes down to it is kind of along the lines of the cosmetic items and bundles which these bundles give you beta season bundle or give you different boosts or starter packs which have different skins things of that nature and then the war marks which are also the uh the boosts and stuff like that and then you can take a look at the dragon bucks and that's the premium currency is the dragon bucks so it's kind of cool to see right now it does doesn't look like we've run into anything that's really pay to win which is always nice to see so we're gonna go down this side of things. You, that's the shop, and you can look at your team, you can set up your team, build a team, join a team, stuff like that before you go and you get into a match. <clears throat> then you've also got these runes. Now the cool thing about the runes is you could buy three packs of runes for 450 um, of the gems. So we're gonna go ahead and buy another three pack. And these are random, the, the, it's random tier one runes. So let's go ahead and purchase that. You can see we got a max mana, we got a max regen, and then we got a gold carry size gold carry size and stuff like that that'll get uh, we'll get into that in a moment once we actually get into the game we can also see here we've got war machine and it's kind of basically the little little uh, daily bonuses they're doing but you can see so we've got ability cost we have uh, different runes available to us and we could take and one of the cool things is we can place them in these different slots and they'll open up as we level up in the game so right now in level one we've got ability cost which reduces the cost of all abilities by 0.5%. And you're gonna open all of these up as you actually reach into those different levels. And you do that by playing, you see right here, runes activate as you level up the match. You can drag and drop and use different runes. So I can't actually drag and drop there. See, it's locked, your dragon lord must be ranked level two to be able to do that. But one of the cool things you could do, it's really neat, is you can actually take it when you have three different runes, you can use this rune combiner combine three of the same runes for one upgraded rune. So if you have three gold carry or whatever, you put three of those, you combine. If you want to take and take the time, it takes 24 hours for that to actually combine. Or you can take and you can just pay, I think it's one dragon buck to go ahead and complete that. So pretty neat stuff right there. So we can see here, here's me, Limpy. You can see near mastery unlocks, and you can see those there, near achievements. And you can see when you unlock certain achievements, you actually earn the uh, the credits here. So you wanna take and you really wanna go for that. You can see I'm slowly moving my way. It's kinda cool the way they do this experience chain here. It kinda lights up this dragon as the levels show up. And you can see the different things that happen. Rune system unlocked, two rune slots, one free epic war mark. So you see a lot of different things open up by leveling up. So pretty cool stuff there. 
take a look at the stats of the different people playing and you can see here there's the rating their average their wins their losses their ratio their kills their deaths so some of these guys are pretty darn good we can go into the forge and in here you can actually take and you can um, you take your weapons bring them into the forge and you can actually uh, upgrade your weapons in the forge which is really kind of cool we got a daily system which you can roll the dice next roll is available in just under 10 hours and you'll be able to roll that and then whatever number shows up you get times that in credits so it's a great way to also earn credits then you've got your news and your basic options but i know what you guys want to see you guys want to see me play a game now i'm going to go into a single player game because i don't want to have to wait for a bunch of people to get going but you do when you when you first start out you've got access to six different dragons as you highlight each of them you can see what they look like you can also see he has unholy mist unholy mist of despair and then you've got Focusing Unfathomable Rage. So you can see all the different things that are available. I do like this Deep Fiend. He's kind of a fa uh, one of the ones that I've used so far. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this Storm Caller. And we're going to get going. But you guys can go through and see what all these different weapons do. And then obviously you can go into the store and buy different weapons. Stuff like that. Now we're going to go ahead and get ready. And off we go. Heading to battle in 3, 2, 1. Now we are going to be playing with bots on my team and also bots on the other team. You can also do co-ops where you and your friends play against bots, as you can see all the different bots. You can see the different uh, dragons that are available as well. Now you do fly around and it's pretty simple how you fly around. You pretty much just hold down right click. Now one of the things that's kind of neat about the game, and it may take a little bit of getting used to, but it's very, very useful, is you can actually hold down space bar as you're moving and move backwards, which is kind of an interesting little, little, uh, little tactic that you can use because you can still fire while you're moving backwards so kind of a way to keep attacking and stuff like that now we have different things going on here's one of our shrines you can see down on the bottom right you've got a map it's kind of uh set up basic and simple you want to take and go take out their towers now you can see you've got this veal of disruption which it slows down enemies as they kind of come into your area so we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on this guy a little bit Go ahead and back up a little bit. Let's see if we can take him out. Now we're losing right now, so we got him. We got him a little bit close. We didn't quite get him, so we're gonna go back here. Now one of the cool things is, is you can go back. You can go back to, and you can see down in the bottom right or left hand corner that our XP is moving up. We can go back here, and we can actually jump into these little these little gold areas, and this is where we'll actually heal up. So we don't have to go all the way back. We can just go right in there. <clears throat> And while we, while we also go here, you can see here, deposit gold to level up faster, recharge health, you are immune when you're inside the horde. Each team has three hordes and you can locate those on the minimaps. It's very advantageous. You can also see that there's just random gold that's going to be dropped around. So you want to run around and pick that up. So we're going to go over here. We've got some, some little creeps that are, that are kind of bugging our creeps. We're going to take them out. Now we leveled up and as you see, because we leveled up, we got different skills that are now available to us. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna level up my dragon, which increases health, mana, regen, and gold carrying capacity. So I wanna get that up. Now we killed those guys, they did drop gold. Now this is one of the things that I that I think is kind of interesting is you do have to run around and actually pick up the gold. You can't just have it just go right into your inventory. So kind of an interesting structure there. So let's go ahead and see if we can attack him. Nope, and he's a little bit close to his tower. He's playing a little smart. So you know what? He looks like he's not really. Looks like he's trying to do something here. What the heck is going on? So let's go ahead and get him to chase us. We get our buddy in there, and then we're just gonna beat the crap out of him. Oh, there we go. So we took him out. We leveled up. Now one of the cool things is, whenever you take these guys out, the the really neat thing is that not only do they drop gold, but they can also drop things like gems. They can take and they can drop stuff like let's get out of here oh pressing the wrong buttons escape run so see now i brought him kind of into my own guys there so they're going to take him out right now let's take these guys out i might die unless we can take him out quick there we go so we're going to get out of here now go get ourselves healed up but they can also drop they can drop credits they can drop experience they can drop uh health potions as well when you kill other guys. So it's really advantageous to try and take out as many of those guys as you can and also make sure that you take and you take and uh, and keep yourself healthy as well. So we're gonna do that right now. So we're gonna upgrade that. 
upgrade that. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and utilize our E skill on somebody. So here we go. We're going to utilize that. Now, if he flies in there, he takes a ton of damage. And now he's right there. And let's get him. Let's get these guys. And we're going to drop that again. Because the more of these guys that are actually in that uh, in that swirly thing that I got that I just dropped, that little... Uh, Get out of here. Let's see, we go ahead and upgrade this. So the more of those guys that are in there, the more damage that actually gets taken. So it's really, really advantageous for me to try and take and make sure that I hit as many of those guys as possible with that. So let's get this, this, and then we're going to run back here and turn in our gold. Now the other thing you may see at the top. Let's get, An let's get over here. Has been destroyed. Oh, they took out our obelisk, or we took out their obelisk. Sorry. So while we turn in this gold, I'm going to show you guys the little thing here. So here you've got this gold plus horde equals chaos titan. So the sooner we can get our chaos titan out, the sooner that he takes and he will go wreak some havoc. And he's really funny looking. You guys are going to dig when you see the chaos titan. He's this giant beholder with a party hat on, which is absolutely amazing. It really is one of the coolest things in the game to see these uh, chaos titans. Can I survive? Can I get some help? This guy has some insane help. There we go. Get some gold off of those two guys. We got a couple of kills right there. Now one of the things you may notice is everybody plays the game really, really aggressive. This game is played super, super aggressive. So you'll take and you'll actually see guys just kind of running in in big groups and doing different stuff. There's one of those health potions, but because I'm full health, well, I guess I actually did so you'll see everybody playing super aggressive in the game, but that's okay because the nice thing is is you don't have these super slow cooldowns. So let's get in here, let's do this, let's do that, let's throw that down, let's see if we can follow him, chase him around, do that, dropping some of our skills on him, taking him out. Let's get on this guy too. Let's drop that, let's drop our little our little swirly on him. Drop our, drop our big dog. Let's get out of here before we get taken down. Let's see if we can get these guys to follow us. Can't. We can't get our guy to back off a little bit. But you can see right now because we are in a. Uh, let's drop this right there. Let's drop that right there. Get those guys to run through there. Let's take this guy. Come on. We gotta get out of here. We gotta, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? It's gonna be so close. We gotta get through here. Oh, we got smoke. But as you see, it only takes five seconds to respawn, even though you do have to go all the way back to the beginning. But the one thing that really does stink is that you actually do lose all of your gold. So you wanna make sure that you don't take and get wiped out when you've got a load of gold. You wanna make sure you're getting back and getting to your, uh, your hoard and dropping off as much gold as you possibly can. So keep that in mind when you guys are running around, you're really loaded up with gold. Make sure you're getting back to your hoard as much as you possibly can. It's very, very worth it to take that little moment that it's going to take for you to get back there and drop off your gold. So let's do this. All of this stuff on them. Get these guys taken out. There we go. Let's go get this guy taken out. Take out their towers. So basically, just like any game, we're taking out their towers right now, taking them out as well, picking up the gold, getting ourselves healed up by these potions. Oh, I guess I'm full health, so no healing up for me. Take out this, drop this, drop our skills. Now, of course, right now, because I am playing against computer generated opponents, not really, they're not really as uh as good as if I was going to be playing against you know other people they do other people would be making decisions far differently than these guys are right now this out so you you, you obviously want to get your feet wet playing against the uh, the computer controlled opponents but later on you definitely want to get yourself into some of the more some of the more challenging games and the nice thing is is that so far from what I've seen the game definitely has a nice quick game time. So we're gonna actually turn around and we're gonna do this. Fire on him, see if we can get our, our bots to take him out. There we go, look at that. Just like magic. We pick up all this gold and we will hit our horde. Woohoo! Barely alive. 
but we made it, and that's all that matters. So let's get to our horde right here. I think I missed one that was a little bit further forward, but either way, get our horde all powered up. You can see <clears throat> my experience is bumping up, but I did level up. So we're going to go ahead and bump up our basic attack, our Q. Now that's one of the cool things, though, is that you see it is in Q. That's our basic attack. But you can also just hold down your left click as well. And the idea behind this is we eventually want to take and we want to get into their, basically into, into uh, we want to take and get into, into their fortress, I guess you could call it. Their mountain, their, uh, their domain, whatever what we got here. Nice big chunk there. Keep working this guy. Oh, come on, get in there. Now, see, as soon as he went into his horde, he actually becomes immune. So that's why that's why I just said forget it and I ran away. But what I was saying is your Q you can actually take and use by left clicking. And the idea is, is we eventually want to get into their fortress, take out all their towers, take out all their obelisks, take out all of that stuff, and then just basically get to the point where we're actually, instead of taking out like their main fortress or their main anything like that, we are actually going to take, and we are eventually going to actually free our Titan. That's what we're actually after. We're actually trying to free our Titan. So we'll take that out. Let's get the heck out of here. Get beat up. Yeah, look at that. Stopped him right before he got to his horde. Oh, no! Missed him. Totally missed him. But you can see, like, that guy was rooting me. He was using some roots to keep me in place. So he was actually rooting me from going any further. So, you, like I said, you can kind of see that all the different... All the different classes and all the different dragons have different skills. So you want to take and pay attention to what skills your dragon has, what skills the enemy dragons have, use your counters, use all of that stuff to uh, to keep your guys moving forward as fast as possible, moving into uh, moving into the enemy territory to take out their obelisks. As you see, we had to take that, uh, that little spot out right there to be able to get into his obelisk. And with three of us, we're taking his stuff down. So we're going to up that. Get in here, grab a bunch of gold. There we go. Quick win. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see the Chaos Titan. He's pretty awesome, though. We made that nice and fast. No deaths. We just smoked everything. So let's continue. So you were offered these rewards. So 75 experience, 83 crystals. So essentially, just by playing the game, you're going to earn crystals. Now we can take and claim your reward with a mark, an epic war mark. We can double the reward, I have zero of those. Or I can claim the reward, I have five of those. Now I'm not sure how much, how often these actually respawn. We will go ahead and claim the reward, we'll get 75. You can see right there, the Deep Fiend is actually leveling up, or my Dragon Mastery and Deep Fiend leveled up. My Weapon Mastery and my Storm Caller, it moved up a little bit. And you can see the Crystals, plus I got the one-time bonus of 20. So I got a total of 103. And you can see the Forge Elements found. You did see me fly over that Forge Element. So as you get those, you're going to be able to use those to use in the Forge to make your weapons better. And slowly as you progress through the game, you're going to get better and better and better and better. Now let's take a look at the match results. You can do more here than monitor stats. Playing with honor is a huge part, so we can actually honor our, our opponents or our friends. And we can take and also report players here as well. So let's see, how did I do? Limpy. I got 10 kills, I died one time, and I got 14 assists. What's this? Kill death ratio 10 to 1, gold 3900, and you can see all the different ratings. I want to give all the bots a giant thumbs up because they did an amazing job. So let's continue. You can see here, you can see achievements that I got, which also came with rewards. Destroy an enemy elemental tower, kill one minion, kill an enemy dragon near the allied dragon, kill, destroy an enemy obelisk or shrine, kill an enemy dragon or friendly near an obelisk or shrine. So you can see I got a bunch of other bonus or I got a bunch of bonus stuff here. I think that might have been the 83 uh, credits that it was giving me. So by accomplishing the different achievements, you're going to get all of those. So make sure that you guys pay attention to the achievements on the achievement monitor when you're out in the uh, in the main area, in your, in your lobby, essentially. But either way, guys, I hope this gave you a good look at Dragons and Titans, and I hope you enjoyed today's trip inside the den. 
Once again, don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Twitch TV and Twitter to get the latest updates on all free-to-play gaming. Also, please comment and like this video as I really appreciate that feedback. If you'd like to play or learn more about Dragons and Titans, you can read the full game profile at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Alright guys, till next time, thanks for watching.